Some people say the focal length on the Sony ZV-1 is too tight, especially when you're using it for vlogging. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Are you looking for an adapter or a lens or some way to make your Sony ZV-1 just that much wider? In this video, we're gonna talk about it. In this video, I'm gonna talk about some of the key features or show you some of the key features of the US Key Vision wide angle lens and macro lens and why you should have it on your Sony ZV-1. First, let's unbox it. Here we have the Use Key Vision wide angle and macro lens for the Sony ZV-1. Here we have the booklet. And we are greeted by a hard shelled carrying case, which is nice. If you, like me, would rather keep the lens on the camera, you can always use this for other things like batteries or SD cards or anything like that. Your microphone, if you have like a lapel mic like I'm wearing right now, you can have all that stuff in there with, with your, uh, you can carry all that stuff with your camera. So it's always with you. Pretty nice. Here you have the mount that goes onto the lens and you have some extra adhesive. It has, has an adhesive strip on there, but it, they give you extra. And here we have the lens itself. Here is the lens. This is a 52 millimeter. So on here, you have to have a 52 millimeter. You can use that for variable ND filters. You can use it for any kind of filters you want. Mist filters, as long as they're 52 or you can use step up rings. You have three stops of variable ND comes on the camera, which is nice to have when you don't want to carry anything else. But if you want to be, if you're going to be shooting outside and pretty bright sun, you want to have that filter thread for those variable NDs or ND filters, period. You can use 58 millimeter filters on the ends of this. So you have the macro and you have the wide angle lens. So you can use a macro by itself to get those nice macro shots or you can use them together and get a nice wide angle. It goes from 24, which is built in to the camera, to an 18 millimeter focal length. And that's 35 millimeter equivalent. So this is supposed to be a 24 and 35 millimeter equivalent, and this is supposed to make it into an 18, which is a nice wide angle lens. Also, this goes to f1.8. So wide angle plus f1.8, you get some nice light, you get a nice wide angle, so this is gonna be a great addition to your Sony ZV-1. It also helps with the added crop in 4K and the added crop in active stabilization. This will help you to keep a wider angle for your Sony ZV-1 when you're using active and you're using 4K. All right, so now let's put it on, see what it looks like. There you go, there you have it. This is what it looks like with the camera off. Very nice. Still, still pretty compact. It may not fit in your pocket anymore, but it's still pretty compact. When you turn it on, this is what it looks like. So again, this is the used key vision wide angle and macro lens for the Sony ZV-1. As you guys can see, I gave you guys some examples on how you can benefit from using the US key vision 
wide angle lens and macro lens gave you a few in there if you guys want me to do a full review i can do a full review but i just wanted to do a first look unboxing and see what is in the box and how it can benefit you so you can see in 1080p you get the widest angle it helps the most in 1080p if you do want to use 4k and active stabilization without this lens it's going to be very tight with those added crops because you get crop pretty much with both of them so it gets really tight the lens in my first trials and my first tests is very very useful you have the macro which is great if you want to get those macro shots the wide angle lens which is awesome if you want to get a more not so tight uh, field of view and you have the ability to put ND filters or any kind of filters on your lenses so you have all of those with this one adapter it comes all together you have a hard shell carrying case that they included that is a nice added benefit to this whole kit the price is under $50 but you get a lot for that $50 it's not just a wide angle lens you get the macro and you get the the ability to actually put filters on the front of your ZV-1 because normally this ring here it's not there so you now you have somewhere you can screw those filters onto it won't fit in your pocket which is one of the, the major flaws of this but you can always take it off keep it in a carrying case put this in your pocket take both of them with you and you're good to go now the Sony ZV-1 is not a very cheap camera but if you can get it on sale or get one used you know better yeah, that's your best bet if you can get one used or you know if you can find a good deal sometimes they they're usually like fifty dollars off at least you can use that fifty dollars that you were going to spend on buying the camera anyway and use that to get the wide angle adapter there is a coupon on amazon also for this lens so you can get a few more dollars off so it comes up under really under fifty dollars so it's a really good lens very quality it's all metal built. The glass, it, it feels very sturdy. It feels very solid, which is very nice. They did send me out this lens to test, but it's not, I'm not sponsored. It's not a sponsored video. And I am giving you my honest opinion. I'm not just saying it's great. I didn't really see very many flaws, but if you guys want me to, to do a further review on the corner sharpness and all that other stuff, I can do it. Just let me know down in the comment section and I'll make another video on that. Right now it's just my first thoughts and just seeing what comes in the box when you're spending, when you're spending under $50 to make your ZV-1 that much more better. This has been Two Times R. I appreciate everybody that's clicked on the video. If you clicked on the video, if you got something, please don't forget to like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Thank you guys for clicking on the video. Peace.